Hello and welcome back to New York Gold. Today I'm going to talk about breeding the Emperor, the Emperor Tetras. Once you secured some nice Emperors, uh, preferably six or more, it's not hard once they're adults to figure out the males from the females. We'll start with the males because they're the easiest. Males tend to get a little bit bigger than the females. They have the long black filament in the center of their tails. They typically get a blue eye and they have longer fins and a yellow edge around some of their fins on the bottom. Now for the ladies. The female tends to be a little bit smaller. It has a green eye usually as opposed to a blue. It doesn't have the long fins, no yellow edge, and it doesn't have that long filament out of the center of the tail fin. Pretty easy to tell the difference. This is my funnel breeding method. The fish lay eggs in the java moss and the funnel. The eggs fall down the tube. The air pushes them up and they fall into a breeding box and I collect the eggs while I'm at work. All right, this is one thing I forgot to record. I did a bad job of recording this because I forgot and I did a bad job of building this, but this is one of the techniques I use to breed, to collect the eggs. This is a screen over that lighting stuff. And I put some shot glasses in the bottom. I lowered this in the tank and it was just sitting off the bottom about that high. And I had a little bit of that java moss on here and the eggs fell through the hole and collected in the bottom. So that was one of the techniques I used to collect the eggs. So after the first day, this is what I saw at the bottom of the tank. And I thought, wow, that was easy. One day, eggs, I'm brilliant. Turns out the little white specks, after looking at them under a microscope, turned out to be sand and not eggs. This is what real eggs is supposed to look like. I didn't even need a microscope to tell me this time. I put a light very low outside in the back of the tank towards me and it really helped see the amber glow of the eggs. The little brine shrimp you see, see swimming around there are from when I had the parents in there. I was feeding them while they were doing their thing. Then after that, very quick, in like 24 hours, you get this little clear ghost of an almost fish image. Really, it's like the size of an eyelash, close to impossible to see. But if you get a magnifying glass and you look, they're in there, they wiggle around, and they'll sit like that for a while. and not move after like another day or two then they start to develop their eyes and stuff and look a little bit more like a fish than they did the day before okay now this is like day three or four ish they're starting to move around a little bit they don't really hunt they just kind of eat i've been feeding them powder food but here's here's the issue because this breeder box is hooked up to the main tank some brine trip gets sucked into my funnel method and into that breeder box. And if you look at the stomach of this baby, it sure does look like it's full of brine shrimp. Just saying, these guys might take brine right in from the get-go. Could be wrong, that could be golden pearls in there, but it's something we definitely have to uh, look into here. So this is what you can expect at the end of week one. Got a little fish now, but I tell you, they are boring fry. <laughs> they really don't do anything. They don't hunt. They just kind of hang out and wait for food to come to them. Week two, about twice the size. You can see them really filling out now. You see the fins very clearly and pretty much the same, just sitting around eating and slowly growing. Week three, a little bit bigger, but now you can start to see them getting that black line like a Emperor Tetris is supposed to have. So they're slowly morphing into their adult selves. And they don't look alike anyway, but uh, a little bit more active, not much, still a very unactive fry. Week four, 
at this point it's just rinse and repeat feed them their bellies fill up you feed them again their bellies fill up you feed them again they get a little bigger they're still not very active <laughs> fry jeez do they just they are just lazy but that's that's pretty much it after here it's just you got them you know just keep feeding them That's pretty much it. That's how I bred the Emperor Tetris. Uh, I'm sure there's some stuff I left out. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and we'll try to square it up. You know what I mean? So uh, anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I hope you stick around to the end. All right. Peace out. Bye.